Were you guys sleeping with producers from Zeus? There are, oh girl. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't ready, were you? I told you, look, we've been doing homework now. We've been doing homework. Were you guys fucking the producers from I, Zeus? I can speak on my cat. Okay. Not participating in the producers, no. Um, there are there are several. Um, God damn you, girl. Who was having sex with who, girl? Who tell it now? Because you know, if they were doing an interview with me, they was damn sure tell on you. Without all. <gasps> Why the hell so many people are trying to tell me to slow down? Seems like motherfuckers should be shutting the hell up and enjoying the show. All right, Jada. Ch okay, so I always mess up your name. Kachili. Kachili, you got yes, it. Yes, I said it right. Okay, because I am notorious for butchering names. Okay, welcome. We are glad to have you here. Thank you for having me. Y'all have been making Bad Girls Club, okay? Season uh, season 12, season 13, correct? All right. Um, you guys have been making some hella noise on the internet. I know. I was hoping it was going to be a lot more uh, positive buzz uh, when we started this project, but... I, I was I gonna say that because you would think that, you know, Bad Girls Club, it's been long off air and to see the bad girls grow up, I'm thinking the bad is gone. It's done. Like everybody's evolved and on a higher plane spiritually. Uh, that's not what I saw in the Zeus trailer. You know, outside of that life, you feel like you've grown um because you don't deal with that in your normal life and i was thinking the other day because of where i grew up sometimes i find myself going back to that same slang okay most like with the bad girls club you could take the bad girl out of the bad girls club but like you don't take the bad girl out of them even though they may have progressed uh... in the but when i got back around these bitches it was just like oh <laughs> this is where we're at again okay do you think it's because you guys left on a bad note no, you know, it's weird because I have moved on in my life. I mean, it's been like five years since yeah. I done anything. So Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. Let me cut off my phone, child. This is so yeah. unprofessional. I am so sorry. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Pick up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, so I just didn't I didn't harbor any real grudges with anyone. Okay. Planning okay. the project when rocky and then getting into the house was just a complete shit show yeah speaking of that now um i saw the trailer with zeus of course we're gonna play that here And I saw, I mean, it was some heated tension. I'm talking about, I saw racism. I saw wigs being pulled off. It was kind of like a flashback into what, how uh, the original Bad Girls Club went. Now, fans got excited, okay, when they heard that you guys were coming back um, and you were going to do it on OnlyFans. Now, I got to ask, who came first? Was it Zeus or was it Natalie Nunn? Because I heard Natalie Nunn was out here scamming bitches and shit. Like, I just, Yeah. So I'm going to speak my truth on okay. how I, I can only speak on me and what I know. Okay. I'm not sure who came first. Okay. In my today, in, you know, it's 2020, looking back, I feel differently today than I did signing on to the project. Okay. Um, I believe now in my mind that Natalie probably presented the idea to Zeus mm. because he 
what Blueface is doing on Instagram with his girls. That was going to be my next question. Like, how did Blueface get into this and kind of, yeah, get to OnlyFans first before you guys, the original Bad Girls Club members? Yeah. He was pretty. He was pretty smart to come up with that. It was. He was already hanging around a bunch of girls anyway. So I'm sure somebody said, like, you got your own personal bad girls club over here. Right. Um. He was smart for that though. He capitalized off of it. Natalie seen it, ran mm -hmm. with it to boost. That's fine. That was great. Um. I wish that she would have been honest, it from the beginning. Like, listen, girls, let's go out to Atlanta. Let's shoot this pilot. And maybe Zeus will pick us up. But instead, she just kind of gave one percent of the information to us i and heard had, that yeah we, we had great to bring this to the fans but when we got there it was just zeus everywhere on every project we tried to do everything we planned it was just like zeus we couldn't film for only fans because zeus was everywhere in the background and they so you had no so you weren't expecting zeus at all no the so only zeus we had was Natalie Nunn doing the conversation with Zeus. She mentioned Zeus possibly coming by, popping in for a day to shoot some quick footage for a pilot, but it wasn't to the extent of four days in, Zeus is still there. No. So you mean, because people were, I believe a lot of fans were already subscribing to OnlyFans. Okay. Yeah. And then here she has a contract worked out with a network. Now Zeus is a big deal. Now they've gotten a hold of a really, really good way of making money, which is providing original content um, yeah. for urban media. And so I, I mean, my hat goes my hat goes off to them. But you mean to tell me Natalie Nunn had a mm -hmm. had already started getting money, stating that this was going to go to OnlyFans, this was going to be a Bad Girls Club kind of thing where the girls were going to come in and contribute. Everybody would split the money, and then when you get there ready to film, she got a separate contract with Zeus. I cannot confirm or deny a contract with her and Zeus prior to the OnlyFans. I can only confirm what I know. I know that Natalie has a relationship with Zeus and there has been conversations prior that are fine because we were not involved. She's entitled to those business conversations. However, we were entitled to the information about Zeus pissing all over our OnlyFans production. We were oh. entitled. We were only given 1% and we kind of went with it once okay. we got there. There was so much going on. So did you give we, did you give consent to Zeus to to actually put out the trailer? So did once you, we for for com, um for the conversation? Yes, for the conversation. Oh, of course, we had agreed to the conversation um about 2 days into our filming, it was presented to us. The details of the conversation, once again, we got 1%. Natalie, it seems like, thought she was our manager. Mm. Unbeknownst to us, like, she thought she was going to run us or pimp us out to whoever the fuck. Um, but that, I tried to negotiate more money for the conversation, and I was told by Natalie that that wasn't going to happen because mm. the conversation was typically with two girls, and it was now going to be split, split between six. That's a so reunion. Mm -hmm. This was for the conversation. That's a reunion. That's normally how reality show reunions are done. Mm -hmm. Where you guys kind of face off and then there's fighting and oh. yelling. And yeah. So, okay. Interesting. I'm not going to say that she scammed. I'm just going to say that um, it doesn't sound like a scam. It just sounds more like she just kind of, it's just funny business. Thank you. I, d yeah. I don't. The yeah. scam keeps getting thrown around left and right. And we all have been accused for scamming the fans with OnlyFans. Because of how it was done shady with Natalie, it did kind of make us it difficult for us girls to get the project delivered in a proper way. Okay. Because so much confusion with Zeus being there. That was Natalie's sole focus. Okay. Rightfully. But she made it bad for us girls because we were there for only fans so we kind of looked like we were just scamming the fans for money for a quick buck and that was because not the, the case because the fans are like wait a minute you guys said you were gonna go to only fans why is ah. this there 
Yeah, I can see how that can come off. And, you know, you not knowing all the information and things like that. But let's talk about the conversation that Zeus filmed. Now, is there an extended, is there a whole conversation or was that, or was that just something they caught? Oh, no, there was a whole conversation. How did we get into people calling you like a white, what did they say, a crazy white bitch? Um, I and don't... you're 35 years old. Like, these women are, like, in their 30s. AdamandEve.com. I'm talking toys, bondage, lingerie, and so much more. Plus, they have 24-7 customer service, so you can order at 3 a.m. if you ain't coming, if you get me, okay? And if something isn't working out, you can send it back within 90 days, no hassle. And if that's not enough, you can also take pleasure in knowing that 20% of their profits goes to help fight the spread of HIV around the world. So go on ahead and log on to AdamandEve.com. Use the code Tasha. K for 50 percent off one item plus free shipping in the u.s and canada some exclusions apply now but hurry up and visit adamandeve.com so they can make you come 720 royal wants you to look like the royalty that you are shop 720royal.com for head turning afrocentric design head wraps face masks bags and more find them on facebook and instagram just search 720 royal remember no matter which way you look you are royal so wear it proudly a new way to fight bad breath using herborant Herberis is a solution of extracted natural herbs, not alcohol, that clears bad breath in seconds. We all know that bad breath is caused by tooth decay, gingivitis, plaque buildup, cavities, bad hygiene, or even hunger. Adding just one cap full of herberis packed with natural grown herbs to your daily oral routine can help fight against all that without burning. Get yours today by using my coupon code Tasha K. The link is below in the description box. Like, yeah. This is the second time in that week span that I was called either a dumb white bitch or a stupid white bitch. Mm -hmm. Me and Natalie got into a fight the first day in the house, like a physical altercation in the house, and I was a stupid white bitch. That's okay. fine. Um, not pressed about that, but I don't really know if that comment from um, Christina was generated at me. She said white bitches. Uh, at that point, to me, Christina was just Natalie's minion. Like, she was just doing whatever Natalie needed her to do. There was no real fight with Christina. Christina do, you feel was... like, do you feel like you're singled out, like, as a white girl? No. No? No. Okay. I have to do my shit. I may look like, you know, this Because you kind of tiny now. I was shocked to see you, like, throw hands but... with Natalie like that. That's a big bitch now. For right. Real. So th got to take accountability for sometimes the way people might address you right I know I'm a little white girl who tends to because of how I grew up and the mm -hmm. things I've experienced in life I come off different to people they may see me and like oh she's so cute like she had a white picket fence she got like a good family and whatnot but then I, I open my mouth sometimes too much so when people address me certain ways I really feel like it's because I speak a certain way so they may they think it's okay. It's like the white girl who says the N word around her black friends. Right. You don't realize it's not okay. Like, so maybe she feels like it's okay to call me a stupid white bitch. I How did you care. feel about the comment Rocky made in the trailer about black bitches when she said like, cause I mean, that's like really disrespectful. Like when you use the term black and bitch in the same sentence. Well, okay. So she was responding to the fact that Christina called us white bitches. So I think okay. she was trying to make her understand, like, how would you feel if we called you a crazy black bitch? Mm. Um, that's where that comment came from. She okay. wasn't. Rocky's father is black. The girl, I mean, it's not on that level for her. I don't, I don't feel like. I think she was just kind of like, listen, you can't be calling people white bitches and then get mad if a bitch calls you a black bitch. Mm -hmm. It's like double-sided. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. I mean, if you dish it, you should be able I, to take it. I would love in a perfect world for us all to uplift each other as women and embrace and love each other and address mm -hmm. each other you know, correctly. But that is just not a perfect world. I don't come out of my mouth and be like, you black bitch. I don't speak like that, though. Okay. Okay. Now, let's go back to these contracts, okay? Because mm -hmm. Erica, you, you do know Erica, right? 
too. I, I like Erica. Okay, okay. Now, she was a part of the original Bad Girls Club, okay? Like, the oh, well, not the Bad Girls Club, but the Bad Girls Reunion, okay? And so I got a question from one, like, of my producers, all right? Because okay. she's been digging now. So we're going to throw some questions at you, okay? She said, <laughs> Erica exclusively told her, okay, that Natalie said that Erica was not a pretty dark-skinned girl, okay? I Is that true? I was not present for that conversation. Oh. I did hear about it. You did? I did okay. hear about it. I believe the person to ask that question would be Sarah, because at that point, Sarah and Natalie were friends, best friends. Mm. Um, and apparently, Natalie had that conversation with Sarah. I, I wasn't even present. Okay. Now, my producer also, because, I mean, she was on the phone with a few people now. <laughs> okay. Cause she was I, like, Tasha, you gotta ask Jada. You gotta ask. I said, okay. She also claims, Erica claims that Natalie wanted her to get crazy hyped and that she got hyped on Natalie the next day. And she put the contracts that the girls, she put in the contracts that the girls cannot physically hurt each other after she got in a fight with you. Is that true? Are you speaking on after, so the contracts were fully done and signed before we even started filming. So nothing was added to any contracts after filming. So she didn't go and amend it and say after, you know, you whooped her ass oh. that there can be no fighting. The original contract that okay. was done up from the twins was only four pages. It was a rudimentary, very, very skinny, needed more help contract. After we got rid of the twins, and um, Erica, okay. we came up with a new contract with an actual lawyer who sat down with us and went over it. And that ended up being 18 pages. Oh, um, okay. So this was a big, so you can't just go back and just amend that. That's going to take time. So, oh, okay. So this is all hearsay. I had to ask. Mm, yeah, for sure. Okay. Okay. Now Don't go there. That's not right. Um, there were, there were girls. There were girls. There were several girls. Um... Mm. Mm. Did the owner of Zeus get some cat? I I know I don't know. Did he, <laughs> did he knock any one of the girls off? The owner of Zeus, okay, because he be, he be on set filming. I see him, girl. Why are you sipping your what? <laughs> no, 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 no. I had to get this wine. Now I also want to ask too, okay, because oh Danny God. Banks. Now, people don't know who she is. I mean, she's got over like 5 million followers. I don't even know how Danny Banks got into the mix, but she got online crying, you know, because she has COVID-19. And a few of the other girls from the house had contracted COVID-19. Did you contract COVID-19 for filming? I will speak on myself. Okay. I did. I got, wow. I got COVID. Okay. Um, I, I'm not going to speak on anyone else. It's their okay. privacy. But I did. I got COVID. It was horrible. Wow. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I'm glad that you're still here. So, because yeah. a lot of people are not. And so my prayers go out to them and their families and those that are currently now in the hospital trying to fight it. But I, I kind of got some information that Danny Banks, okay, I guess <laughs> IG ass model, was at the house making out and licking, you know, a few other girls' cats. Yeah. And that's how everybody got COVID. And that's probably... That's accurate. That's accurate as fuck. It's and accurate? It Wait a minute. So they was eating pussies? No. That's no? Not no. Okay. We, only me, Natalie, and Sarah went out to meet Danny Banks. There's okay. Footage. Hey, so you, the, you didn't kiss on Danny Banks or nothing? I kiss. I, listen, I will speak on me, only the oh, truth. Oh, shit. <laughs> I had forgotten about even, listen, it happened at the back of the Bentley. Like, it was a lot of alcohol. And there's just a small video of, like, me and I'm, like, pop kissing Danny. I had forgotten about it, okay? okay. Came back. I got COVID now. Everybody's like, Danny Banks is online talking about she got COVID. Yeah, she said it hurt really bad. Yeah, she was like, it hurt. I, yeah, I found the video later and was like, well, there is an actual and like live footage of you getting COVID. Yeah. So, I mean, it happens. It's 
like this big taboo now if you get COVID. But you know what? You're you're likely like everybody's gonna fucking get it. So right, right. But I, I mean, kiss. I mean, I'm not out. Like, I mean, well, I could kiss my husband. Yeah, and he don't you know what? Man. I mean, you yeah. But I, I just thought. See, I was told that there was actually some more. Like no. you guys were like sleeping with each other, Hell and that's no. how you got COVID. I was like, oh. Having a good time, and yes, I did pop kiss the girl. We didn't make out and like the sla saliva and tongue. It was a girly pop kiss, but I I take accountability. I put myself in danger. Okay. Did you expose anybody else to it or no? I'm sure, we all did. I'm sure after we seen Danny, all three of us came back and exposed the whole house. Damn. Who knows? How are like production companies dealing with that when they have a super outbreak? You know. I I can't. How does Zoom? Okay. Okay. I mean, I get it because you don't want to like you know incriminate anybody else because I know people can easily <laughs> sue. People can easily I sue these days for getting COVID, but you know. Oh really? Yeah, you can sue a business. That's why when you go inside, they make they make you say like we are not responsible if you contract COVID in our restaurant or on our premises because you can't. Right. I mean, it's got fourteen days until sometimes you see symptoms. That'd be so hard to know. Yeah. How often, how long did it take you to see symptoms after you and Danny Banks kissed? Like seven days. You seven days. Hmm? You weren't scared to like kiss her though. I mean, she's kind of been around a little bit. You I know? you know what? Mm -hmm. That ass honest with you. Call me naive or stupid. I did not know. I had never heard of Danny Banks before mm. that night. Mm. I was literally living in the moment, just having a fun time. Mm. Mm. drinking mm -hmm. I literally I feel stupid in hindsight like I was so safe for so long and then this one week with the girls like it's just like I left my brain at home and mm. went and had time I, I have zero excuse but I didn't know about Danny I don't know anything about her still okay <laughs> Natalie um, I think Jimmy to... Jimmy smacks does who's that uh I guess only fans porn star Oh, well, so that's the thing that Natalie wanted us to go meet up with her for is because apparently she's super lit on OnlyFans. Yeah, with she... everybody. Uh, wait. <laughs> yes. Oh, Girl, you listen, listen, listen. I'm talking to you, so you got to be careful now because you can kiss somebody and you know you can pop up with sores, all types of shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to be I... careful, girl. Don't let that alcohol get to you like that no more. Mm -mm. I know. I'm an idiot. It was a good thing. It's uh, okay. You know what? I'll admit it. Okay. I'm responsible. But I so, did. <laughs> it's okay. I just want you to be safe out here. Cause you know, Danny, I don't think she practices safe sex. I've seen a few of her videos and it just depends on the price, whether or not she'll, you know, so oh, wow. yeah, but you know, we're going to talk about that when she gets on the show. You know, I'm not judging nobody. That's her line of work. I, I mean, I respect sex workers and things like that. So, but it's just when, you know, we, we're in the middle of a pandemic. So I just got some yeah. questions. Um, lastly, what type of shows are you working on? Are you still working with Natalie to develop the OnlyFans uh, show? Although uh, she was funny with the money, or are you going to go with Zeus? So she wasn't funny with the money about OnlyFans. It was with Zeus. The Zeus thing was completely, complete bullshit. Natalie mm -hmm. made her money. Fine, she made her money, but don't sit in my face and tell me I can't negotiate for more money because we're all making the same across the board as a team. Don't, mm -hmm. don't do that. And then you make your money, which is fucking five times what we made. Yeah, I heard she got a, she raked in a big check. It wasn't a big check. It was, it was some light work, but don't look at me in my face and be like, yo, Jada, you kind of got to do this for the team. If you're not even fucking doing shit for the team. Mm. But manipulating. I'm not with that. I'm not out to manipulate people. I'm still going to get the bag. I don't have to manipulate to get it, and that is her go-to. Okay. As far as OnlyFans, hmm, I would hope, as women, we can get past our differences and continue the OnlyFans. But if mm -hmm. not, I'm in. The, I'm. I'm still planning the next one. Okay. If, if they don't want to participate, whoever doesn't participate is not getting paid. Period. Okay. You got any music coming out? Because I saw that you were like, you know, rapping and stuff. No. No. That, I do not. I don't. I still write. Okay. I day trader. I day trade every day. Nice. From 4 a.m. to noon. Okay. Um, that's life trading. And okay. then this happened. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, last, I do want to ask because I had an encounter with a bad girl uh, from season five. 
I've been told that finding your perfect match is almost impossible. Almost. Well, guess what, baby? No more swiping left. Because whether you want something big, something small, something new, or you just feel like dumping your old one. Miss Didi of Imperial South Co. is a licensed Georgia real estate agent who is here to help you to find your dream home or to help you get rid of that old one. No matter if you're a first time buyer or empty nester looking to downsize, she can help you with all your buying and selling needs. Check out Miss Didi by visiting her website at www.imperialsouthco.com. No one is gonna work harder to get you better results. Let's put the wine down for a second because at times like this, we need to take a shot of the olive leaf extract because the olive leaf boosts our immune system and has been known to reverse high blood pressure, lupus, diabetes, and certain cancers. Check them out at myoliveleaf.biz to learn more and to order or simply click the link below in the description box. Now back to the wine. I don't know okay. if you caught that online. Brandy Arsenal, be familiar I, with I'm, her? I'm, yeah, I kind of wanted to ask you just a general question about this because um, she did Bad Girls, I want to say back in 2000, I can't remember the exact year, but it was, of course, season five, you know, and you were season 12 and 13, but yeah. um, her mental health, like, mm -hmm. she really took a toll after the show, and she mm -hmm. talked about some things that had went on in Jamaica, about somebody getting stabbed, and a few of the bad girls from her particular season, you know, got online to like bully her and, you know, she really started to drink and, you know, ended up calling me to do an interview. But I really, you know, I, I saw immediately that she was not stable enough mentally to do an interview because she had been intoxicated. And then she took two bottles of pills in front of me and, you know, I had to call 911. It was a big thing, but she is now in treatment. She like, she's in inpatient treatment. Um, she's getting the help that she needs, but she actually blames the bad girls club for ruining her life. It started her drinking problem, her depression. How do you feel about that? Like, do you, have you experienced that from bad girls club, any depression, any low moments? I mean, yeah, 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 definitely times 10,000, I'm sure, than your regular life. Um, that's really fucking sad. That breaks my heart. Mm. Um, and I know, think I, one I, of the girls from the Bad Girls Club, like, when they heard about the um, actual, like, suicide attempt, they got online to say that's why she tried to kill herself, and I hope she kills herself. Like, I had n I've never seen that before. I could never wish that on my worst enemy that they would try to kill themselves. And I hope they do it, especially to someone that I haven't seen in years, you know? So like, do you think that they take the show just a little bit too serious and forget like the humanity in people and people actually go through things like, but back to the question, like, have you experienced that? And what yeah. did you do to overcome like becoming uh, depressed and things like that? It's a daily battle, honestly. Um, oh, wow. after Club, I definitely um, spent about six months inside. I didn't want to go outside. I didn't want people to recognize me. Um, relationships were hard. I, I remember for about eight months, I just took Xanax every day until my brain was mush. I have not taken anything okay. since okay. January 1st, 2018. Congratulations. Um, thank Congratulations. you. Thank you. But yeah. it does take a toll on you. People are constantly dragging you. I got jumped in Houston by like two gay boys and a girl after the show because um you know there's this this statement of me on the reunion screaming like i'll fight everyone okay. but it was at the girls like i felt attacked by everybody so i was just like fuck it i'll fight all of you bitches mm -hmm. and i guess the public took it i was like i thought i was like this tough little white girl but and you actually had three strangers jump you because yeah. of what they saw on the show yeah, it was crazy. I um, wish one of them little motherfuckers would approach me. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> I tried, tried to fight back. Like, at one point, I thought it was two gay boys, and then a girl popped out of the car. And I was like, oh, okay. This is just going down. Like, I'm getting my wow. ass beat. Did you seek any therapy or anything or treatment or? I, I, I you know, I have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful um, best friend. Okay. I couldn't last. And... Mm -hmm. When I was in the darkest of places, she was there to pull me out. 
Um, mm -hmm. It didn't happen overnight. Um, there was a good year where I was just completely gone in life. Mm -hmm. But I, I thankfully never took a bottle of pill. Like, I never was there, you know? Yeah. I, I, I've, I've seen, like, what I saw at first, it was kind of, like, surreal. Like, okay, this is none of my business. And then, like, I was like, wait a minute. Like, if I hang up the phone with her, how do I know, like, someone's going to call 911? I can't have that on my conscience. Like, she's somebody's daughter, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, she's somebody's mom. And so that really just kind of made me, like, say, like, I kind of want to interview the ladies from reality TV, whether it's Bad Girls Club or Love and Hip Hop, because... You have so many young fans watching you. And the fact that you guys have that much influence to the point where you can say on a reunion show, I'll fight anybody and that's just for TV. And you go out to a bar and people are really trying to fight you because they're invested. Like, what would you say to like young kids and people watching you and thinking that reality TV is for everybody and this is the way to go and be famous? What would you say to them? There is so much that people don't realize on that road to fame or success that will tear you down along the way. Like even your family is put at risk. You know, people wow. that aren't even directly involved, they become collateral damage. So I would say to them, you really need strong skin. Um, and uh, the best way to approach a situation isn't always fighting or arguing i've learned in life although i'm still trying to master it I is it, yeah. fall back and let the fucking ball drop because whatever is going to happen in that house or whatever's going to happen on reality tv the, the producers are in control of it it's going to happen mm. like you don't have to be the one like i always felt like i had to stand up i had to fight or you know you don't have to sometimes you can fall back and laugh like i wish i could have just laughed at everything wow Wow. Do you advise reality TV for any kids coming up? Or, I, or, do you, I think, or you want to tell them to just go to school? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like I went back to school and I'm still compared. And listen, I do. I still get ghetto. I still, that little ghetto girl still comes out. But like, I mean, girl, I, we all get pinched. Okay. Thank all, you. The nerves. Yeah. Yeah. Attacking me though, because I don't look the part, I guess, but like mm -hmm. it comes out, but I don't know, it's just one of those things. It's like Slim, another girl from the season was a black girl who spoke white, so she got attacked. I was the white girl who spoke black and got attacked. It's like all these people like to put stigmas on you and labels and put you in a fucking box and this is who you have to be. Mm -hmm. But people are so much more than like how they look. There's okay. so much more to any given person than how they look. Wow, wow. Okay. Anything you want to leave us with besides that? I mean, that was amazing what you just said. And I'm glad you shared that part. Like you gave, you know, what actually happens, you know, you still living the life and having to deal with challenges. And then what you would want to say to someone who thinks that this is like all glitz and school. glam. Go to school. So <laughs> I went to school and I'm so thankful. Like, okay. I work for myself. Go to school. You don't need day to work trading. For you said you day trading. Okay. <laughs> I love it. Go to school, be your own boss. Do not work for a producer or production company because they're really just going to like exploit you in your life. Yeah, Brandy told me she said that um, she they would ask her a question about how she felt about the ocean and she would probably say, I fucking hate that, that shit. And they would take it and cut it to make it seem like she said it about somebody else in the house just to yeah. cause conflict. They control the narrative. That is crazy. It is. Um, yeah. taking the time to talk to me, you should reach out to more bad girls and reality stars. I think that I will. easy to communicate with and like, thank maybe you. you could get their stories out there about what they're dealing with. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm glad that you were, I'm, I'm just so happy and so humbled that you were open enough to share that. So a lot of people don't want you to see that part of them. And I'm glad that you allow the audience to see your humanness. So thank you. Where can they follow you? Cause girl, I have to follow uh, for real. Uh, <laughs> Instagram is my first and last name, Jada underscore Kachili. Okay. Thank you so much. And I'm going to be watching. Okay. Uh, hopefully, I guess the entire conversation gets the air from Zeus. So you guys can work that yeah. out. Because um, I, I, I want to see how this goes. Because I'm sure we'll have a lot more questions after it airs. Okay. So thank you so much. And uh, we'll see you next uh, time. Okay. Take care. Bye. Nice meeting you, nice meeting you too. <laughs> Bye.